hey there this is Kyle and Trans Made Easy. So I bought this laptop almost 5 years back and it was working quite well until last uh, month. And I see that from last 30 days the battery started, uh, the battery life was quite low and initially when I bought it new the life was almost like 3-3.5 three, three hours but now uh, from last 1 month or 1.5 month the battery life is only uh, 20 to 30 minutes which is quite quite bad. So I tried repairing this battery by watching few videos on the YouTube but uh, unfortunately it didn't, didn't work out for me. And one thing I noticed was the battery's maximum voltage wasn't reaching 4.2 volts which I guess is one of the problems of the battery. And I haven't tried charging each battery separately but uh, today what we are going to do is we will try, we'll try to open it back and see if we can reuse the batteries. And coming to my laptop, I already bought a new battery for this, so I need not worry if this battery is of no use now. So my laptop is working fine now with the new battery, it's giving me almost like 4 to 4 and a half hours battery life. And it's good to use for my work and for my YouTube videos etc. So today we'll be opening this battery and see uh, if we can reuse the uh, lithium ion batteries inside to make something else. Let's see. So as you can see here, uh, it's already opened once where I tried to repair it but it didn't work out so I fixed it back somehow. So I'll be opening it again now, second time. This. So let's do one thing, we'll use some soldering iron to desolder these batteries. And in lithium ion batteries, mostly the one with larger surface area like this will be the negative pin and the one with smaller surface area and an insulation. If you see the contact here is completely metal, uh, so the whole body will have the negative terminal of the battery. Well, if you see the positive terminal, there will be an extra terminal with some insulation around it, like this. So this is the positive terminal of the battery and of course, here the red wire indicates that this is positive. So let's connect it and see what is the voltage we see here. So this is 3.5, I believe that is a good voltage. I will check the other voltage as well. 3.5 3.5 close to 3.5 yeah, all are of same voltage 3.5. So now we'll desolder and separate these batteries. So I separated the board here, and if you see in the board, there's this small wire coming out with a black color uh, sensor. This sensor is a temperature sensor. Uh, I guess that's called a thermistor where you know if the battery is getting heated when it's charging then it will automatically make sure that the uh, charging circuit is cut off and no current is flowing to the battery thus it will uh, protect the battery from exploding just in case if something goes wrong. Here I see batteries are connected with this tin plating so I'll try to break this by just one the letter battery. So first what I'll do is I'll take a battery charging circuit. So I have this uh, power bank circuit here from my old power bank which has three output pins, uh, I mean output uh, USB pins and uh, these two wires I have soldered extra so that I can connect to the batteries easily. And uh, it will be charged from a mini USB pin which is located here. So first what I'll do is I'll connect the positive pin to positive and negative pin to negative. So make sure again the positive pin will be the one which has an extra insulation like this and the pin will be shorter. Uh, mostly the batteries will have an indication on top saying plus, plus and minus but uh, for some reason these don't have. And even the branding of the company is not there on this battery. So uh, anyways we'll try to solder some, put some solder on these batteries first. I put some solder here. I'll solder the wires first. 
and these are lithium ion batteries so they can be very dangerous so be careful when you are doing it so I've sold all these batteries uh, let's try to switch it on so currently I don't think it's showing any power uh, So I have a USB power cable here coming from a USB charger. Now I'll connect this to the USB charger. And as you can see, uh, it's switched on the LEDs and it's powering up. I'll disconnect this just to see if it holds the power. Yes, it's holding and it's working. So we'll connect it back and let it charge for some time. Meanwhile, we'll also measure the voltage across this battery to be sh uh, sure that uh, it's charging. So currently, it's showing 3.61. So, for a lithium ion battery, the full voltage will be 4.2 volts. Uh, and here, there are four LEDs on this board. Uh, each one indicates the percentage of battery charge it has. So, it's 25% for one LED. And so, two LEDs are glowing. So, now it's charging for the 50%. Then it's 75 and 100 percent so uh, one thing is this percentage doesn't tell you the power inside the battery as a whole it's only the voltage from which uh, the battery can be used to charge your mobiles or whatever to the highest voltage say for example a lithium ion battery can be used starting from 3.5 volts or 3.6 volts then the voltage from 3.6 volts to 4.2 volts is divided into equal number of percentages indicated by each of these LEDs. So we'll wait for some time and see if the battery charges to the full and we'll repeat the same for the other batteries as well and see if they can work out. So it's been almost 2 to 3 days when all these batteries are charged. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a rechargeable torch out of it which can be used for multiple purposes. So first I'll measure the voltages across it. See this one here. This one is close to 4.12 volts. That is good voltage. And as you can see, this one is charged with the small uh, lithium ion battery charger module. So I'll be using the same module for all the module, all the batteries. Seven that is close to 4.1 volts. So I'll be using these two batteries today, and these two will be using for some other project. So first what I'll do is, I'll be soldering both these batteries in parallel. And for joining these two pieces, I'll be using this uh, piece from the laptop charger. So I'll just move this around so that it breaks. So I'll be joining this piece like this to both of them. First I'll solder on one side. Use some more solder here. That's 4.1. It's good. So now we should be adding the charging module and the LEDs. So on one side we'll have the charging module like this. So what I'll do is I'll separate both the wires. So these are the LEDs I'll be using and PC what I'll do is I'll cut this to the size of these batteries. First I'll make the markings. To cut this first I'll make scores. So now the PCB is ready. So this PCB will go here. It'll stick to the batteries like this. So I was thinking if I can have this board soldered to this PCB so that this can add extra strength to this. For that, I'll first desolder this wire. This one here. And you know, this one as well. So I'll use this wire. I'll remove this out.
This will hold the board so that it doesn't move much. Straight now, so when it fixes, it will come like this. Next, I have to add four LEDs here. So these will be four LEDs will be coming in this fashion. And four. So those will be the four LEDs. So first what I'll do is I'll check the flat P and then I'll start soldering these wires. So here I have made this uh, small light board. It has the charging module on this side which fixed firmly with these wires. And there are five LEDs here, all are one watt LEDs. But if you see closely, these four LEDs are in parallel and this is connected uh, separately with 200 ohm resistors in series. So what I'm going to do is these four LEDs will be working at full brightness while this single LED here, this will be working at a lower brightness when compared to the other four because I want this for the higher uh, brightness to see in darkness and this single LED will be functioning as a bed light for me. So next what I'll do is I'll fix this switch on one side which will be used to uh, change the modes for me and this is a toggle switch it has two modes so first second and third so one is off on one center will be working as bed light and the extreme right will be working as the full brightness. Also what I'll do is I'll fix this board here and I'll solder the wire battery post to here and I'll also solder one more wire coming from positive to the switch and from switch to these two LEDs. The negative wire will directly go to this wire and from here it will go to the battery directly. So let me solder that and come back to you. So here uh, the board is ready. So here the solder, I'll solder all LEDs and I'll solder switch as well here. And, and I have made connections from here to the this set of LEDs and from the bottom one to this set of LED, this single LED. And the center pin is going directly to the battery positive and the charger positive common. And the negative pin is common on both the sides. That means the input of this module and the output of this module have common ground. So that ground wire I have connected to the ground wire of these LEDs and the same I'll solder one more wire to the ground of these batteries. So what I'll do is I'll stick this board here like this using some hot glue. So once stuck I'll solder one more wire from here to this negative pin and then it's ready. So next week what we can do is we can uh, work to make this more look more cooler. Let's see. Just to test once I'll switch it on and as you can see the center pin is for the single LED and the full pin is for the full all LEDs. As you can see it's quite bright. This is a very less bright one and completely switch off. So here this is ready, now I will switch it on. So this is bed light mode and this is for the full brightness. So I switched off all the lights. Now let's switch on the bed light mode. As you can see, even this is quite bright, but for a big room, this will be quite enough. And let's switch on the full bright mode. As you can see, that is quite bright. So this is me in complete darkness. And this is my small bed light. As you can see, it's not quite uh, bright, but you can see my face here. Next I'll switch on the complete brightness and this is me in the complete uh, bright light of my homemade torch. As you can see it's quite bright. Even the background is highlighted very well and it's very bright for me to directly stare at it. So uh, in cases where you need light in complete darkness this can be very handy and as you can see it's quite bright and in very big areas or very big rooms where you want light this will be very much helpful. Next what I'm doing is I'm using some hot glue to cover most of the areas here. This will help to form a small protective layer. So 
So here I have covered uh, most of the part of this uh, board and I made sure that I don't put anything on the LED top dome so that it will reduce the brightness. So other is all, I covered most of it. It quite looks flat for me. Now what I'll do is I'll cover this side as well once this is dry. So that's all and here this is ready and as you can see uh, it looks quite bad actually uh, but uh, I believe it works much better than what it looks like. So uh, even though it looks all the PCBs and LEDs, resistors, everything outside but the functioning of this is quite uh, good. And it has two functionalities, one is the bed light mode which is a single LED with little less brightness and the second one is the high bright LEDs which four 1 watt LEDs running at very uh, high brightness and this can even be used for, as a photography light if you are using, uh, if you are shooting a video or a photos, everything and it's quite bright and uh, make sure don't, you don't point it directly at someone's eyes but because it's little it might damage their eyesight or you may not you may become uh, blind momentarily so it's always better not directly point at someone's face for quite long and saying that yes it also has a charger which can be charged from any USB uh, charging adapter and USB cable or if you have a power bank you can charge this even from a power bank so this is quite handy and it's quite portable as you can see it fits exactly in my palm and if you want to go somewhere out at night and if you don't have a proper torch then this will function as a very good torch and it will give you quite some uh, quite a lot of light if you're traveling in a dark area and even when there's a power outage at night and you're not able to uh, see things it will be useful you can even uh, work if you have any emergency work to do then you can work in this light it's quite bright and it's quite good so power backup, uh, when I measured the current it is taking about half an amp uh, running at full brightness so that uh, take considering that and each battery is about 2600 mAh so this might give me anywhere between 3 to 4 hours of full bright light and bed light is quite less current so I believe that will come for a quite longer maybe 3 or 4 times more than the normal fully bright light so that is this hybrid torch uh, that's all for today and I'll see you in my next video until then Take care. Bye.